Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UKM-401 4 input, 1 output HDMI KVM switch. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to connect four different HDMI media devices to a single high resolution monitor at the same time and then decide which of those inputs is being displayed in that monitor by tapping the button on the front of the unit, using the included remote control, or even through an RS-232 connection on the back. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and because it also provides KVM functionality, all four of those inputs can be different computers and you can still have complete control over those computers. It's also USB 2.0 compliant, which means you can connect peripherals up to the USB-A ports and share those across your computers. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the KVM switch. I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides. And then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the KVM switch. You'll also find a connector block in case you decide to control this over RS-232. This just makes wiring it up a little bit easier. You'll also find a single 5 volt 1 amp DC power supply. You can simply plug this into a wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it which plugs into the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. There are four USB cables included. If you decide to use this with computers, you'll simply plug this end into your computer and this end into the back of the KVM switch and you'll have connection for a mouse and keyboard through that connection. There's a set of brackets included as well that allow you to mount this up off the ground and out of the way. There's an infrared remote control, which makes it easy to control this from a distance away from the product. You'll find a warranty card and a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other really important details about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. So always read through that manual. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. The O-Ray UKM-401 features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either end of the cabinet, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount the product up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find two full-sized USB-A ports. Both of these are USB 2.0 compliant. And these can be used for connecting external peripherals like a camera or a microphone or a thumb drive to the unit. And then these peripherals are shared with whatever input you've currently selected. To the right of that is an infrared receiver window. That's used with the included remote control and it's where those signals are received. So when you set this up, make sure you leave that window open if you're using that infrared remote control. To the right of that are four LED indicators letting you know which of the inputs is currently selected and you can step through these inputs by tapping that button or by using the infrared remote. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics, it's also checking the media devices being connected and the monitor connected. And once those have been verified, that LED will come on letting you know the unit's ready to use. On the rear of the product are more connections. Starting on the left is a DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into any standard wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there. This unit can be controlled by the button on the front, the infrared remote control, or through a direct RS-232 connection to your computer. And if you want to use that control mechanism, you can connect your computer to this using the connection block included with the kit. To the right of that are four inputs labeled PC input 4, 3, 2, and 1. These connect to the four computers you'd like to share on that single monitor. You can also use these connections for other media devices like a media player or a DVD player, pretty much anything with an HDMI output. You can connect it right there and use this switch to actually switch between those four devices. If you decide to connect this to your computer, there's a second USB 2.0 connection right here that'll plug into a USB-A port on your computer to allow you to access the peripherals connected on the front and the keyboard and mouse that's connected on the rear. To the right of that is a full-sized HDMI port labeled HDMI out. That connects to the monitor you'd like to share with these four inputs. And then finally to the right of that are two more full-sized USB-A ports for connecting a keyboard and mouse. Again, that's shared across whatever input you've currently selected. 
The O-Ray UKM-401 is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including DVD players, streaming devices, media players like Apple TV, game consoles, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content, four computer systems on a single monitor, USB 2.0 compliance, KVM functions supported for all four inputs, and it provides easy plug and play setup with no drivers required. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up three small media players. One of them is looping a video, and the other two are displaying images, just to make it easy to tell them apart. I also want to show you that you can mix and match a wide variety of different media devices. I've also set up my laptop. So these are the four input devices that I'd like to display on the output monitor. In front of me, I have the UKM401 switch, and to my right, I've set up a high-resolution monitor as my output device, and this is where I'd like to display the content from my four input devices. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are from the media players. I've already connected up three high-speed HDMI cables, and I'll plug those in input number four, number three, number two, and I'll leave input number one open for my laptop. I've connected an HDMI cable to that, and I'll plug that into HDMI input port number one. And now we're all set to connect up the output monitor. I've got another high-speed cable connected to that, and I'll plug it into the HDMI output port. And now we can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a standard barrel connection on it, which plugs right into the DC input port on the rear of the unit. And the minute I add power to this product, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks all the electronics just to make sure everything is working okay. It's also checking the resolution of my input devices and the resolution of the output monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed between the input and the output. All right, right now I'm on input number one, which is the computer. Now, if I want to switch to input number two, I can tap the button on the front or I can use the remote control. So let me tap that, and this will be one of the media players. That's the video. So one of them is looping this O-Ray video right here. Now I'll move on to input number three. We'll see an image. There's a media player, and I'll go to input number four. Now the nice thing is, again, I can mix and match a variety of different media devices on the same switch. You could certainly use this with multiple computers, multiple DVD players and game consoles, whatever has an HDMI output, you can use this to switch between. The advantage though, is that because it's a switch and it's KVM capable, I can use this with computers, plug in a single mouse and keyboard to the unit, and that's shared among all the computers that are on the input. And I'll show you how to do that now. So you'll need a connection to your computer to make that happen, the product comes with uh, cables, USB cables, that I'll plug directly into the unit. So let me plug this into input number one, and that's making the USB connection to the computer. And now I can add a keyboard and mouse to the unit, as well as peripherals on the front, like thumb drives and cameras or microphones. I'm gonna use a wireless dongle, because I use wireless products for my mouse and keyboard. And I'll plug that in directly on the back on one of the two ports. And the minute I do that, on input number one now, this will be available. So here's the mouse. I've made the connection. It'll take a second to recognize that. Then you can see my mouse moving all over the screen. So again, the nice thing about this product, having the KVM functionality, is it not only switches the video and makes adjustments for the resolution of the input versus the output, but it also allows you to extend the USB connection, USB 2.0, of a mouse and a keyboard and external peripherals to whatever input you've currently selected. So it does a lot of different things and it's an incredibly versatile product. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UKM-401 four input, one output HDMI KVM switch helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way of sharing a single monitor with four different HDMI media devices. And because it provides KVM functionality, those four devices can be computers with mice and keyboards attached, and you can switch between them on that single monitor. The product is fully compliant with 4K ultra high definition media content and is also USB 2.0 compliant, which means you can plug peripherals into the front of the unit and share those among the computers. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.